Now making a crepe today, um, we're going to make a sweet one, you could just as easily make a savoury one, there's actually a video on here for that as well where we added savoury toppings, but I think everybody loves a really simple crepe. It's one of the first things that for example you could, should teach your kids to make, it's so ridiculously simple, and the beauty of it is you nearly always have the ingredients at hand in your larder or in your fridge. Eggs, flour and milk, we all have those pretty much at hand. Now what you want to do is whisk your eggs and your milk together. Now like I always say with pancakes, it's very easy to give you a recipe and there's a recipe on the right hand side. But what happens is eggs are different sizes. They come along, you could have large ones, you could have small ones. And the recipe will sort of change per every single time you make it. So it's more important to look for a sort of a consistency of the batter which will enable you, once you know that, you'll get your crepes right every time. So next ingredient that went in there, I added a little sugar. I'm now adding a little bit of flour. And we're sifting that. That does two things. It removes the impurities from the flour, and it actually makes it a little bit lighter as you whisk it together. Now, very important that you get rid of any lumps whatsoever. Now you can see, I looked at my mixture, not quite thick enough, whisk in a little bit more flour. So just play around with it until you get that nice sort of gloopy consistency that we're looking for. To enrich these, I'm also going to add in a little bit of butter. Butter is not absolutely necessary, but it gives it a real sort of velvety, nice shine to the crepes, and it also obviously enriches it with a lovely nutty flavour. Now to cook them, very, very simple. First thing that you want to do is make sure your pan is on a sort of a low to medium heat. You want to keep a controlled heat. I think some people make the mistake of blasting them into a really hot pan. Pour your mixture into your pan. You can see there's absolutely no lumps. That's the consistency that you're looking for. It's at a pouring consistency. And you just want to swirl it around so as the pancake covers the entire bottom of the pan. Now we're going to cook it for about a minute on that side. You can just have a little sneaky peek underneath. And then, obviously, the quick flip. If you don't know how to do the quick flip, you can always use a spatula. But that's it. It's now up to you to choose what toppings you want. 